to repeat the basics of Which side is always on that side? Oh, in there, so. Oh, it is now? Yeah. For sure. You see, if we open it, see lock sign. Which one? What is the lock sign? We open it, I think. To open it, the phone. Rotate device, but what to do to rotate it? And it is live. Like it's better that way. It's saying it's okay that way. More grace. Same to you. Oh, Chef Andre. We're trying to set it up and leave it that way. Just make sure it is um, tightened. Oh, okay. 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 Kind of lean. Just over to your right a little bit. My right. Right, so welcome to the live stream, guys. Good morning, food time, says Chef. Yes, you got that right. So today I'm going to be doing some Esco Beach fish, Helsha, Helsha Beach style. So I have four fish, four large fish, and I've already cleaned them up, cut them in two, seasoned them, and that's going to rest there for a bit. And then I have peppers, I have... Um, orange color one red one i have courgette which i discovered myself nobody taught taught me this but you can use courgette you know in jamaica we use chocho sometimes to put on escobish fish or even to pickle you can use courgette or zucchini so i'm going to use that i'm going to use some carrots as well tea time good morning from jamaica welcome <laughs> So yeah, we're going to use carrots as well and some onions cut in, in rounds. Good morning, Lady Let's. And then I'm using vinegar as well to make the sauce with the vegetables to put on the fish once the fish is fried. I don't have ground, sorry, I don't have whole pimento. So when next I come to Jamaica, I want some. Hello, Julie Sharp <laughs> or July. When next I come, I want some ground pimento from each of you. So to start off, I'm going to turn the flame on to start frying the fish. And then we have to lock this door to the rest of the house. Come in there. And then also open this window because I know it is going to be steamy. So fish are ready, cut up and ready. Um, courgette and carrots. I need washing and peeling. Um, oh, they're just healing up Chef. each other. Healing up tea time. Yeah. Um, those need washing and peeling. Yeah. You, wash them. you can start with the peppers. The peppers are clean. Okay. So so do the carrot and carrot for me, please. Is that too big? No, that's fine. Why that angle is like that and tell me like that's fine. I shouldn't I don't obey it. That is how you set it up. When you no. were it was okay. It's not a it's not a short. So strips of pepper. Guys, I'm going to rotate you. Shall I try? Try and then see how you look on that.
It's not that small thing to turn. Is it? Yeah. This whole thing. No. Make it slant. But that, that make it come out of the thing. This one? Yeah, make it come out. Drop out. Right? Okay. So you can spin that and let it drop. Um, I'm here. Says so tea time. You still have the two things on the side. I think it's how you set it up. How you hold it home when you're set it up, setting it up. But it's fine. This is going to be the first time you see us this way. So the oil is in the pan already. And it's beginning to get hot in here. So once I cut them up, I'm just dropping everything in here. We are seeing you. I know you're seeing me, but do you also see two black lines, lines on the side, side? That we shouldn't have because that rotation just isn't correct for a live stream. I've always heard that however you hold it when you're setting up the line, that's how it's going to go. So maybe that's what went wrong. Let's do it. I can leave this for a bit and do the fish. So turn it back up, please, because it's going to be heat. Right. Either zoom in or bring it over. Zoom in. Okay. Look on yeah. the if the angle is okay. Yes, right at the pot. <laughs> right there. So I'm putting in the tails first. One head can put so maybe it will also run head. So that's that, that's just going to stay there. Look how we did it. Zoom out back, please. <laughs> so that's just going to stay there and fry. I continue to pre prepare the veggies. <laughs> How's everybody's morning? Oh, in prayer meeting. Mm -hmm. The lady oh. is yeah. Okay. Yes, pray for us and we have so many things that we want to add to the agenda that we've been praying for as well. Sometimes it's in Jamaica. Maybe I should not use all the... In fact, check out some of that for us. Orange or carrots. I'll see you in a minute. Thank you. 
Yeah, what just one good thing about it long way is about you and what oh, yeah. One good thing about music and I see is whether um attempting I don't know. I have a friend, guys, who is 85 years young today. 85. So she's the one I'm doing the fish for. When I came to the UK, she was one of the first people to greet me. And we made friends since that. Right, so I've finished um, peeling the courgette. How is your day being? Welcome, the persons who just jumped on. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah. Please don't remember to give a thumbs up. If you get up here, I can like zoom over. It's just teasing to zoom. Oh, it has. You're in the way. Can you see the part of the camera for me? Yeah. Can you go off to the side of the camera? Okay. Yeah. I'm doing things that don't want my face to be so big. <laughs> big enough as it is naturally. Pardon? Did you use it all day? Did I use it? Yeah. No. Yeah.
you know what's for our lunch today guys if you were here with us on wednesday this week we cook a big pot of pea soup live so we still have the last lot left and that's what's going to be for lunch today right i'm going to turn that now the upper little answer Over to the yes. Yes. Good. You turn carefully now. Best is to have some space in between. So that they're not stuck on to each other. Yeah. So all the time, zoom out to me. Not all thin. Barbara, good morning, my beautiful sunshine friends. How is everything doing today? Hello, Miss Webster. <laughs> We're doing well, giving God thanks. How about you? The time in Barbados is 7.30 a.m. So in here it is 11, almost 11.30. So Barbados has dropped a few minutes. <laughs> Good morning so far. Thanks for hailing us up all the way from Barbados. Nice to have you in the house. And we look forward to having your company any day. Sunday to Thursday, if possible, 6 p.m. Sometimes, you now and again, we jump on if we're cooking something. Just to share. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, AG. Let's see how many hearts. Four over Ten. here. <laughs> and then six over there. Yes, that's fair. AG, what do you have planned for today? AG, let us know in the chats. What's the plan for today? Are you on the road or are you home? I would love to go on one of those long road trips. Is there space? <laughs> Is there space for two more? In that truck? Let us know and we'll arrange something. <laughs> You're very <laughs> edgy. <laughs> if there's more space in the truck, let us know. We'd love to be on that ride one day. Marva, I'm doing good. I'm tired. I'm spending my winters 
on this Sunshine Island. Wow! Hey, that's the well, plan. I don't want you to plan. go to Barbados. From where? From here. Mother, where were you when you retired? Because he's hungry. <laughs> it is breakfast time, edgy, so no need to be hungry. Get up. Get up. Go make yourself some of for breakfast. Mother, I will be returning to Boston in the early spring. What a lovely life. That's awesome. That's so good. <laughs> we're retired, but we're still in the cold. <laughs> one day, one day. Pray for us, Miss Mava. One day we might be able to hibernate somewhere nice. Not hibernate neither. Live up life. Live up life somewhere nice in the winter. The winter. I'm now thinking Joe that I don't want to make the the, the escovich part in that. I want to make it in something like a non-stick pan. Because it is so much. Let's do it for stir and stuff. Yes, it's not going to be okay. It might be what you think. Still, the turn is because it is so much. Oh. And what shall I use for pepper? Oh. Angie's cooking and spring morning family. I'm still in bed. But I catch up on you guys. I'm natural gen. How do you deal with the fish you smell after? When I fry fish the whole entire house smell of fish for a while. Even if I close the doors. Well I lock away every other part of the house and then I bleach. And bleach. I put away some things. Baking but, soda. Yeah. And lemon juice as well. So like I haven't left the plates out. You know the drainer by the sink, I will let those out. I'll put those locks to them away. <laughs> I've got well, some good tips the last time that we made it. And then we, we have some air freshener thing that we make ourselves with. With the house. Yeah. Clean Orange. up peel. Yeah, clean up with the bleach first. And then make, if you can, move away some of the things from outside, from inside the kitchen that attract smells, you know, that hold the smell. It's time to get out this lock, that's what I think about, that it's a light to me here, or while it's hot here. Yeah. Okay. So if you want to cut up in some here. Started another pan with nothing in there yet. I'm going to put some oil in, and then when it's very hot, then I'm going to add the veggies. Oh, much money pepper from the freezer is what we have, but we also have a bottle of um, such money pepper sauce. Yeah. Fresh oil, by the way, not sure. Yeah. AG says, ladies, need some for the camera sideways. Yeah, no, we had a problem setting it up at the start. Vinegar is good. 
takes off the smell and uses it to wipe it away. Morning AG from Angie. We were having some problems AG at the setting of stage. So I just um, set up the live all over, we just went with it. Hopefully we're still able to see what's happening here. You say if it's one pepper is enough? One half? Pepper. Yeah, we just put it off. You add in the other bits, hmm? the other pieces of fish. Are you adding the other Are you adding the other pieces? Yeah. So the heads are going in now, all the tails done, I think, on one head. You know, all the other heads are going in. Well, it's coming so hard to do sometimes. Um, in the summer, it would be this fish thing. This always did outside. Like on a coal, coal stove. To prevent, you know, to do with the smell. So those are the ones that are fried already. Four tails and one head. And then the other three heads are in right now. You test the oil with a little piece of onion. Take the third from the Ricky, good morning, guys. Good morning, Mr. Ricky. How are you? That is ready. Oh, so I cut a piece of cup. Yeah. Yeah. Oil is ready, guys. I'm going to um, put everything in. I'm glad I changed from the frying pan to a deeper pan, a deeper saucepan. Because it is a whole lot. You need to come zoom in. You need to turn out. All right. Yeah. You can see maybe the top that is what you can see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, for the two yeah. mm -hmm. You want the oil very hot, as hot as possible, because it's so much. But just a little, you don't want it to be full of water. So make the flame be as, as high as possible. That could be with the pepper. any veggie you're going to use but this part you have to take it off to let it be at least room temperature because it's better when it fries in a hot pan it looks to me like it could be in some more oil like I was really too little oil oh, I just never suspect that it was so many so much veggies There you have it, and it's coming on nicely.
Like I'm going to be turning the head. Yes. Yes. The area. The area. Um, okay. in the pickle part, a little bit of salt, black pepper, pimento, and sugar. And most likely I will be seeing. Black pepper. Yes. Teaspoon. Vinegar in already. No. Okay. Then we do the brown tomato. And then we do one teaspoon. And if I have the whole tomato, I need that for the thing. Angie, you oh. need to put up some pimento for us next time we're coming out there. Yeah. Ricky, remember that I am the sugar. Don't forget to remember Ricky. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Non-stick pan, sorry, non-stick pan, so not a metal spoon. You don't want to scrape up and damage your pans. You want to keep the non-stick property as long as possible. Yeah. I can taste the pepper, so that's good. Do you want the container that we're going to put them in? Yes, please. Oh, good day, Miss Margaret. Blessings and wildlife with Baxter. Good morning, Auntie Angie. <laughs> Ricky Banks says, I'm a girl, I'm thankful for God. We know Ricky. Oh, maybe, oh, when you said Ricky earlier, I thought it was um, Ricky Life 365. Ricky so Life. maybe I was. Oh, I thought I've seen him. Oh, no. Sorry, well, Ricky, I know Ricky. that you are our triplet. Sorry, I thought I had seen Ricky. Ricky Life 365, but he's not me. The 
that one container. Oh yeah, this is what I mean. You put, so them, you put them in the fish in there and then pour and them put in some of the sauce on the bottom. Okay. Then you put the fish and then put the rest on the top. Okay. Um, and as well, you must put the vinegar when it's very hot and it's going to be like stifling. Yeah, but you, it have a particular smell when it's done. Wear off the vinegar part. Yeah. You don't want to turn off the flame until that is done. So now it's time for coughing, coughing, coughing. Yeah. Okay. I'll open the window. You need to put the beef in the fire. Huh? Yes, please. Right, so I'm going in now with the vinegar. You want the flame as hot as possible at the height. Has it gone in early? Yeah, just put it in the pan. Is it that enough? Yeah. And you, you will smell the strong vinegar smell. But after a while, the smell is gone. It's okay. the strong vinegar. And that's when it's ready. If you say, turn it off now, I take it off now. When you eat it, it just tastes like vinegar, raw vinegar. Oh. So it is to be cooked. Oh, while the doctor says, I keep spelling your name wrong. No problem, bro. It's L E I S A J O L E I S A, but fine, bro. So we know which you're talking to us. Right, so now it doesn't smell too vinegary, that raw vinegar smell. And I'm going to give it a little taste test. Bottles out the way. Is that showing enough? It's clean. That's fine? Yep. Right, so I'm going to put some on the bottom first. That's what it looks like. Pineapple fish before. Oh, I've never. That's a good idea to do wildlife box with Baxter. I love to cook. I can cook fish very good. Wow. Where, Where are, are you? you? <laughs> yes, so that we can come for some. Not right, only so come for some, but we have some plans for you. That's all of the fish done now. So I'm putting it on the bed of Escobridge. And then all the rest of the sauce now. Eat good TV. This is what 
Or if we might taste a piece of this, but we're really doing it for a friend whose birthday is today and she's 85. 85 years young. But of course, we're going to taste it. Taste this one. It's good, flavor as well very, yeah, very nice, strong mm. flavor. A piece of pepper. How did we do for time? Did I make it in an hour? I think so. Oh, there's a little juice. Don't waste it. It will soak up. The fish will soak it up. Yeah. So I'll leave that to cool. And then in an hour or so, I'll take it to her house. And she wish her happy birthday. birthday. Love it. Yeah. So thanks so much, guys, for staying with us. You what I can't see any time, so I don't even know how much time we've done. But thanks for being with us. Please do remember your thumbs up. We've done. No. You know what that is? Every now and again, it cut off. That says oh, one really fifty-three, which means one minute. No oh, matter. But it it kept cutting off. But you get the idea. This is our. Escovich fish that I wish I was eating all of. <laughs> but that's but it. she'll Thank enjoy you. it. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you, and we'll see you guys on Sunday. Sunday. Baxter, please remember to subscribe and Baxter also. Baxter says he's in Jamaica. Have you got a channel? If you do, we can check it out. Yeah, let us know if you have a channel. We'd Ricky like to check it out. Isa. Take it your time. <laughs> Yeah, we'd love to check out your channel. Yeah. We will. So let us know. But guys, we'll see you on Sunday. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.